It's been almost exactly 55 years since humans first landed on the moon, and scientists have just discovered a large cave on the moon near to where we first landed. By reanalyzing old radar data, they were able to confirm that there's a 100 meter wide pit near the landing site of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, and they could even say that it's over 100 meters deep too. This could present an amazing opportunity to one day build moon settlements in a similar cave, turning future astronauts into lunar cave people. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or the LRO for short, is a NASA mission that launched in 2009 and has been continually orbiting and imaging the moon ever since. In 2010, it took some images that included the area we're interested in today. This was a spot on the Sea of Tranquility, or the Mare Tranquillitatis, to give it its Latin and much harder to pronounce name, that seemed to show a potential cave opening. The Sea of Tranquility is a huge basalt basin that is probably most famous for hosting the Apollo 11 landing site that saw the first humans on the moon. The sea is easily visible with the naked eye from Earth, but we need to zoom in a lot more to see the so-called Mare Tranquillitatis Pit, the name now given to this cave mouth. We very much thought this was the entrance to a cave, but on 2D imaging, it wasn't yet possible to confirm. You see, radar works by sending out radio signals, in this case, towards the lunar surface, and then analyzing the reflected signals that come back to you. The exact timings and properties of the reflected waves can tell you a lot about the object it bounced off of, including its shape, composition, and distance from you. Now, years after the original data was taken, it has been reanalyzed using brand new signal processing techniques that have only just been developed. This allowed us to reconstruct the surface of the moon using these new techniques, and the researchers could tell that some of the radar reflections from the pit were indeed coming from underground. The best fit for the data was that we're seeing signals that tell us about a large underground cave system, with the Mare Tranquillitatis pit serving as a huge skylight, or an entrance to the cave. This is the first concrete evidence for moon caves, and they're actually a really exciting prospect. They've been theorized about for 50 years or so, and now we finally know for sure that they do exist. Admittedly, this one isn't in a perfect location for long-term settling, but now that we've seen this one, we definitely expect there to be many more of these caves on the moon. The Mare Tranquillitatis pit is approximately 330 feet wide, with steep walls that stretch down between 130 and 170 meters, so it's pretty big and might even lead to a larger cave system further underground. Having a cave like this to shelter in for future astronauts might reduce the amount of materials that we would need to take to the moon to start a base, which is great because taking stuff to the moon is hard and expensive, especially if it's heavy things to start building lunar houses with. However, there are still a few obstacles to overcome. For example, the walls of the pit are a sheer drop and are over 100 meters tall, meaning future explorers will need to find a safe way to descend into the caves and ascend back out when they're exploring the surface. These may be simple ladders or more complicated systems more similar to jetpacks, but thankfully the lower lunar gravity means this problem is less severe than it would be on Earth. The structural integrity of the caves will also need to be assessed before we move in, to make sure they won't collapse on us after we're in there. The study also revealed that the underground system could be between 30 and 80 meters long and around 45 meters wide. This would make it definitely large enough for several lunar houses, and the floor also appeared to be flat enough to build on without too much major work or preparation. So all of this is in the good news column. Now, I did say earlier that the pit is near the spot where we landed on the moon for the first time, but also that it wasn't a good place to settle on the moon. Isn't that a bit contradictory? Well, luckily, no. The Sea of Tranquility and the cave are near the lunar equator, which is the easiest place on the moon to land and to take off from, making it a perfect place to visit. However, for a long-term stay or a settlement, the equator lacks something pretty important, water. The equator tends to be quite exposed to space and the sun, meaning any ice here has likely long since evaporated away. However, at the lunar north and south poles, there are many craters that are not ever exposed to sunlight, and so the likelihood of a good amount of useful water at the poles is a lot higher. It would be ice, but that's still very useful. 
This means that finding a cave like this at one of the poles would be even more useful than this one. No human has ever been to the lunar poles, and we're about to enter a period of time that could see a brand new space race to the poles. NASA's Artemis timeline looks like it could be getting delayed, which probably leaves China in pole position to land on the South Pole first. But why is that? Why do we want a cave anyway? Well, they could be incredible places to start our first settlements. They would protect the lunar explorers from a lot of the dangers of the moon, and do so in a natural structure that we don't have to build ourselves. For example, meteorite strikes are really common on the moon due to its lack of atmosphere. Any astronauts on the surface for a long period would need to be protected from this risk, and a deep cave would do an excellent job of that. The other thing coming from space that astronauts need to be protected from is harmful cosmic rays. This is powerful radiation that comes from the sun and from outer space, and over time can be incredibly harmful for the human body. Luckily, again, 100 meters or so of rock above you provides the perfect protection against this. Also, temperature is a huge thing here. The surface of the moon experiences crazy fluctuations in temperature. During the lunar day, temperatures can spike to 121 degrees Celsius in sunlight, and then plummet to minus 133 degrees Celsius after nightfall. The shade of an underground cave system is expected to regulate the temperature to be much more consistent making building a shelter within them much easier and much more pleasant than on the boiling and also freezing surface. The final question of this video then is what could cause these caves and tunnels on the moon? To be honest with you, we don't know for certain, but the most likely explanation for them is that they're old lava tubes. These are natural caves caused by volcanic activity, back when the moon was younger, hotter and volcanically active. We have loads of them on Earth too, the largest is in Hawaii, but of course, they feel even cooler when they're on the moon. Caves on the moon made by volcanoes that future astronauts might live in. That is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you would be excited to set up camp in an old lava tube on the moon, or maybe if you'd prefer to let someone else blaze that trail for us. Either way, it could be an incredibly exciting part of the future of lunar activities. Thanks for watching, and happy lunar spelunking if you end up on the moon looking for somewhere to live. Until next time, stay safe, team. I'll see you soon. Bye!